Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the Euro US dollar FX futures for Monday, January 28, 2013. Well, a continuation of the trend to the upside today. A candle has made a lower high but a higher low. In the previous day's trading, we had a very strong bullish candle that made a higher high and a higher low, and therefore an uptrend. First time frame uptrend in place. And today the low high and high low don't change the trend. It's a uh, an inside day in bar chart terms. It does raise some doubt about continuation of the trend to the upside. And we also have a black body candle. Previous two trading days we had fairly large white body candles with the, with the buyers in control strongly committed, making very serious net to uh, bullish progress. And today that's evaporated. So we're probably starting to see the influence of the resistance around this 135 level in an important area. Today we have a small black body, denotes the sellers making net bearish progress, but only a fairly small amount. But we have a very, very um, much larger shadow on the bottom in relation to the size of the body, representing upside price rejection when the market attempted to trade down below the 134.50 level. And uh, we, that's uh, commensurate with the sellers losing uh, commitment around that area. So uh, even though we have some doubt about continuation of the trend in the upside, we're not seeing any strength from the sellers here. And we still actually have the buyers in control of this market with the market closing uh, uh, just above the midpoint level. It's only weak control, but the significant thing here is that sellers have failed to take control. Now this is almost a uh, tweezers top uh, reversal pattern. Uh, two candle uh, uptrend in place but the, the net uh, um, change in strength in terms of the trend and how far the trend has moved uh, does make it uh, potentially a significant reversal uh, not quite perfect uh, the low of the current uh, trading day is just below the previous low but uh, the issue here is the same it means that the buyers weren't strong enough to take out the high so there is uh, potential for that change of trend now if we do see the trend change very strong support now down around this 133.90 level 134 where we saw the market test and rejected from when we were trading within this uh, symmetrical triangle so there is uh, potential for very strong support down there now if we look at this the bigger picture uh, we had uh, an uptrend in place second time frame and first time frame uptrend congestion and the symmetrical triangle very strong bullish breakout strong close up above there that does suggest that there is potential for the market to reach its target up around the 135.50 level but the market will need to trade through the strong 135 level and these are all factors that I mentioned previously that even though we could see this breakout uh, we did have this strong resistance but the target is up there at the 135.50 and uh, there still is potential of because we aren't seeing the uh, the sellers uh, taking control of this market yet. Now in terms of the Fibonacci extension we're examining the relationship of the first time frame uptrend to the previous time the market's trending up and here we've seen the market almost test to the 161.8% level some rejection from just below there that's at that 135 level roughly so very important level we could still see the market rally and test up to there if we do see strong rejection and the sellers take control then that would suggest potential for a change of trend but we're uh, not seeing that yet but we are seeing weakness in the buyers and importantly looking at the Fibonacci retracement we've uh, traded through the 100% level in a very bullish manner and for that day and today we've seen rejection from the 161.8% which is at 134.87 and that, that does suggest that there is potential for a change of trend and potential for the market to trade down to 134. In terms of Ichimoku, a bullish market in all three time frames, the market's trading up above the cloud, so bullish in the long term time frame. Looking a little overextended, we are trading a long way up above, and when markets become overextended, they tend to retrace back towards that uh, long term equilibrium as described by the, uh, the cloud, so there is potential for that. It does add some weight to the uh, our uh, argument for a change of trend but also we have the market trading up above the Kijun Sen and that Kijun Sen is pointing flat very often when it's flat we get retracement back towards it that represents equilibrium in the medium term time frame so we do need to be watching at this uh, low of the current candle at 134.29 for a potential lower high and lower low but also we have the Tenkan Sen here trading uh, uh, below the price action giving us a bullish market in the long term time frame so bullishness in all three time frames the market has been above all of these indicators for quite some time 
and it wouldn't surprise to see the market relax considering um, this uh, very solid bullish breakout but still no really solid signs um, solid uh, resistance at 135 if we do see a bullish breakout up above 135 we could quickly trade to 135.50 and reach the, the target uh, that would suggest potential to trade uh, even higher than that but uh, we do really need to watch how the market reacts to this resistance uh, just above and how it behaves if we do trade down around the low of today's candle